by joining us right now to talk about the big matchup on the weekend from Soccer City Soccer Show, a friend of ours, Paolo Canciani. Paolo, welcome. Good evening, Anthony. Thank you. Uh, a big hello, a big hug to all your listeners. How are you? I'm hello. very good. I'm very good, Paolo. Appreciate you making the time. Let's talk about this game. It's a big matchup. Uh, all of Italy is looking forward to watching this game. Uh, only the people that aren't looking forward to are the people that are going to be tuning in to San Remo. This is an Italian. <laughs> <laughs> this is an Italian festival that unfortunately is on the same day as this big matchup. Is there any controversy with the game not being shown at the same time with this festival, Paolo? The controversy is here. Is outside Italy, uh, like here in Toronto, in Canada. Uh, Rai, that is the national uh, state television, uh, advised that they're going to broadcast the game on a delay basis, at, I think around 7.45 p.m. But I know we can watch the game on big television. So, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, all the, the sports fans, uh, they are a little bit upset. But, you know, you have to consider this. How many Sundays, how many Saturdays, uh, the Rai broadcast four games back-to-back uh, -back from Italy, and all our women, uh, they are complaining because they cannot watch the telenovelas or the fiction or other kind of program. Absolutely. And unfortunately, Sanremo is the biggest music festival that Italy has once a year. And, uh, and the calendar of soccer and the calendar of, of this event, they match this year. Unfortunately, Paolo, <laughs> let's, uh, let's discuss this matchup. A massive injury to Juventus. Giorgio Chiellini will be out, not just for this match, but he'll be out for a good, I think, three to four weeks. That's a big hit. Uh, this is a big match in Torino. This is a big match for Juventus. And I feel that the pressure, the stress, the spotlight on Napoli is going to be too much. And I'm looking for a Juventus win, not only 1-0, possibly 2-0. And I'm looking for a strong, strong performance by this team. Your thoughts? My thoughts are a little bit different than yours, Anthony. Uh, I think Saturday, the coach uh, of Napoli will go to Turin with the intention to win the game, not to tie, not to uh, perform a tactical game, but uh, he's, he's going to try to 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 impose uh, what is the characteristic of his team. Uh, very, very offensive uh, with uh, Higuain that is, uh, is, is having a, a phenomenal season with Amstic, uh, with... Uh, uh, Martens, uh, Insigne, that, uh, when they have space in front of them, they are very, very, very dangerous. Uh, I think instead that Allegri, the coach of Juventus, uh, will play with a lot of caution. Uh, the fact that he's missing Chiellini in the back, the fact that he's missing Kedira in the middle, and the fact that he cannot, uh, have, uh, Mandukic, uh, center forward, are three elements uh, in, in each different uh, uh, zone of, of, of the field very important. Uh, I think Napoli will do the game, Juventus will wait, but you know, Juventus has a player unbelievable and they can, uh, and they can score any time with Dybala, with Morata, even with the midfielders. So, mm, I think we will see a good game, not a tactical game. This is the worst uh, before big matches or matches that attract a lot of attention, like the Juventus, Napoli. Paolo, my concern would be then if Napoli goes in there saying, you know, we're not going to settle for a draw, we're not going to settle for anything less than leaving it all out there and going for a win, they could be caught, and they could be caught on the counter, as you mentioned, by Morata and some of the wonderful players Juventus this has and defensively I think that's where Napoli struggles yes yes that that I agree 100% the defense is not the best uh, uh, the best uh, part of, of, of the Napoli team so, um, all the players are good players but not exceptionally starting from Koulibaly even with the goalie Reina uh, that is a good goalie but for me, it's not, uh, it's not uh, a tremendous uh, uh, goalie. Uh, th there is that possibility, but I still think with the mentality that the new coach of, of Napoli has, that the Azzurri, they will try to make the match. 
that's my feeling. But uh, then, you know, uh, the game can be uh, Juventus defense. Uh, they're going to play with uh, four defense, with Bonucci and Barzagli in the middle, Liechtensteiner and Vebra on, on, on the two, on the, 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 on the right and the left back. Uh, so that means that Allegri is trying to cover the team as much as he can. Uh, to, to do, to make a prediction on how the game will turn around, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> if I, if I have to play pro line, I will use, uh, all three, all three opportunities. You went to Napoli or tie. I don't know. Uh, Paolo, you know, watching the game against Carpi, I had a lot of concern for Napoli heading into this match. They struggled against uh, one of the weakest teams in Serie A, one of the newcomers. And, and I look at a guy like Cudraro, I look at Morata, I look at, uh, you know, the veteran backline of Juventus in Bonucci, Barzali. Uh, knowing what is at stake here, the responsibility they have uh, to watch Iguin, who has been electric. And I think they're going to handle this. And let's not forget, they are playing in front of their home crowd. Absolutely, that for sure is, is, is a plus for Juventus, uh, playing in Turin, playing without uh, Napoli fans, you know. There is also a lot of controversial, the fact that they, 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 they are not allowed the fans from Naples to travel to Torino and watch the game for security reasons. Uh, the same thing happened in the game in the first, uh, when, when Juventus played in Napoli, the same thing happened to Juventus fans from Torino. They were not allowed to, to, to travel to, to Napoli to watch the game. But, you know, all these are important factors. But, uh, uh my feeling is that Sarri, that is a surprising good, uh, coach, uh, will play to make sure especially on the, on, 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 on the sideline where Insigne can hurt, where uh, Gulen uh, can hurt, when Martins, if he's going to play, can hurt, and where Juventus has Liechtenstein, Evra, or Sandro, that they are not the traditional defender, but more players that uh, are good in, 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 in starting the, 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 the play. Uh, in, I, I don't. I don't know, Tony. I think we will watch. A good, we will see a good game, open to all kinds of results. Paulo, just before we let you go, I really appreciate your time. My my other feeling about this game is you're going to have a, a squad from Fiorentina watching this game intently, hungry, motivated, because if Napoli ends up losing, then watch out. Maybe their confidence goes down. Maybe they're not going to have the same attention in the next two or three games that Napoli have to play. And quietly, maybe Fiorentina can take care of business and sneak into that second spot, and then that will be disaster for Napoli. Uh, what what you are thinking has a lot of merit, and I want to add another thing. Considering that there are another sixteen games, I think after so uh, three points per game, I personally think that even Roma with the new coach Spalletti, if they are able to get some kind of enthusiasm and uh, play safely in the dressing room can say something from now to the end of the game. I personally think Fiorentina, Inter and Roma, they still have, uh, not very much, but some chances to play up to the end uh, their, their, their cards. Don't forget that Juventus has Bayern Munich, Champions League, that is a, a, a tremendous uh, nervous demanding from a psychological and physical uh, point of view, more than Napoli that will play against Villarreal or the other team. Or Inter, that, for example, doesn't have, nothing to, doesn't have any kind of game, international game. Absolutely. Paolo, listen, we really appreciate you making time. Always enjoy listening to your show, Soccer City, on Chin Radio. You can get that on the web or you can listen live, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Toronto Time. You've had many great guests on in the past. You've had Toto Scalacci, a World Cup 90 star for Italy. You've had on Simone Parote of Italy's World Cup 2006 winner. Many, many people from uh, overseas have joined your show. Who is up on this Monday's night show? coming on? Ah, it would be a surprise. Last Sunday, last Monday, I don't know if you had the chance to listen, I had Mariella Shirea 
wife yes. of Gaetano Shirea. I think the best sweeper that uh, uh, the Italian uh, soccer had in the last uh, 34 years. He won the World Cup in 1982 in Spain. And I want to tell you one thing. He was an incredible player. He was a defender that in 552 games in first division, he was never ejected. What a clean and beautiful, honest player, Gitano Sharaya. God rest his soul. Paolo, we really appreciate it. Continued success with your wonderful program. A lot of us listen to here in Ontario and worldwide. Thank you again, Paolo. Thanks, and uh, good evening to you. Have a good show. Thanks. Paolo Canciani of Soccer City Soccer Show, Class Act. I really enjoyed him taking time to join us to talk about Juventus and Napoli. Big matchup on the weekend. A lot at stake here. And as I said to Paolo, I, I'm predicting a Juventus win. I, I'm predicting a, a one, maybe even a 2 nil victory. I just think the pressure, the stress is going to get to Napoli. They've had a wonderful season, and they still might go on to have a wonderful season and win the Scudetto, but you're playing in a, a place that not many clubs come away with a win. And Juventus right now are on a mission, not only for a Scudetto, but a Champions League final and a win there as well.